I developed an interest for acting, I would say around 12, but I've always had the interest for entertaining ever since I was like a child. More so professionally, it just, it's, people always say you should do what you love, and I feel like acting is something that obviously pays you as a career, but I love to do it too. So it's fun, but it's also a career too. Um, I have not, I actually have been learning on the go. I only started acting about six months ago, maybe, maybe eight, so I just, Figured I'd test out myself because I, I did a lot of research before I started acting and people said sometimes acting classes can distort you from who you are and who you act and how you act. So I believe that I should develop my own sense of acting before and then, ha then later have a coach coach me on the skills I already have and how I choose to act. Um, inspired. I was inspired by the film business when I was probably 12 when I had seen Spider-Man 2 and I just knew that that's what I wanted to do. I just wanted to just give that feeling to other people watching films. Um, my girlfriend, friends, family, just everyone that can be there, pretty much, for the support system. Before The Island Between Our Love, I did one little film, it was like a YouTube thing. It wasn't really anything seriously, so I don't really count it, but um, no. So Tibble was my first big project. I mean, all films are a learning process, and all films have their own creative ability that you learn from it. But I would say action. I'm, I'm an action guy all the way, action films. Um, the director, Richard Widmack, he worked with a friend of mine that I did a fashion show for. And um, they were talking, and he said, oh, I know a guy that looks like him. And then I contacted him immediately. Yes, yes, I did. I auditioned with... Richard Widmac and Bernier Shackleton. The audition process for that one between our love was kind of funny because like I said, it was my first big project. So going from a little YouTube type of movie where it was no really acting or no progression, they corrected me a little bit, but they saw potential in me and I'm so glad that they saw the potential in me and went with it. I think independent film projects are very crucial. They're the foundation of films. It's like having a sports team and having a pro league but no amateur. You can't have, you can't have big movies without the independence. Um, well, it was a lead role, so I knew that I definitely had to do that, without a doubt. And um, just, I just loved the energy that I felt from Wid Mac and Bernier, and I, just, I wanted to be a part of it. I was so excited. Um, well, the first thing that I did to prepare myself for the role was I did a whole bunch of research, because I may look it, but I'm actually not Hispanic. So I had to research. Uh, Haitian people, I had to research Dominican people, and it was a big, big thing for me where other people in the cast had were Haitian and were Dominican. I was just an American person, so I had to really dive deep. So I feel like my preparation for the role was a lot. And as a lead, that's a lot of pressure, so I had to do a lot and a lot of research to prepare for it. Um, I did not. I did not have any history of the two countries, or well, the country. Um, but after reviewing the script, I actually wanted to know more. And at the audition, uh, Widmack and Bernier told me that I should research. And I said, okay, I'm gonna research. I said, let me read the script first to see exactly what's going on so I can put the two together. And then I did more research than I needed to because I really wanted to understand like where all this energy was coming from. And it actually piqued my interest more than just for the film, but just for the world, just as knowledge for myself. Working with the producers, the fellow actors, and just everyone behind the scenes was, was awesome. I mean, the vision that Norman Lang and Widmack have, it's so non-independent for films. You would think that they are doing big, big motion picture films by the artistic eye that they have, the little things, the little angles, the everything that they get, the sound, the Every little piece of it is, is great. And the actors, they, 
they worked great too. We all work with each other and the lighting people, some people holding lights for 10 minutes and their arms are getting sore. So that's really tough. But yeah, I just, I love working with everybody. Everybody had a job and everybody came prepared to do their job and they worked super hard. Yes, yes, there's actually a lot more roles than people think on set. So I'd say that I have it down pretty packed now. I mean, it's my first film, so I didn't really think much. I just thought there's a camera, there's a sound guy, there's actors. And then you think, when you get into it, it's just so much more. There's a lighting guy, there's a guy on the sound, there's a, a script person, there's everybody. There's so much more that goes into it. So now I'm very clear and very educated in what goes into the production. The story of The Island Between Our Love definitely needs to be told. And the reason that it does isn't just more so because of the hate between the two countries. It's more so because of the hate in the world. And it proves that love is the easiest thing that can bring people together because hate is such an emotion that is given away so easily. It's harder to love than it is to hate. So I think that this is a very important story to be told because not even the, the races or anything, but just how that two people can come together and put all differences of everybody away. And I feel like that, this story is something that the world nowadays and the age that we live in really needs. I play the lead um, boyfriend, Alejandro. And I think, I personally think that I have done the character justice, but it all depends how you see to choose a character. There could have been a different actor that chose to portray him completely differently. And when I read the script and I read into the character, I went with what I felt that he should act like, he should move like, what he's experiencing is everything that he feels. So I, I think that I did a pretty good job. Yeah, yeah, there were, there, were, there were long hours worked on this film. And I'll tell you, it's, it was tiring, but it was, it was amazing. Because you feel like you're getting somewhere and it's not that there are long hours because anybody's messing up. It's long hours because Wood Max and Norman's vision has to be there. And some people might say, oh, well, everything has to be perfect. But when you have a creative eye, you want everything to be just how you have it to be. And I have so much respect for that. So of course you're gonna work long hours. You can't just get there and get a scene done and you have one angle and the audio is horrible and then you're just like, oh, we're gonna go home. Everything has to be good. So the long hours were worth it. To prepare for a role to strengthen myself, I, first off, read thoroughly through the script. Usually most actors will read the script about once. First four days, I read it every single day. So I'll read the whole entire script four times because I want to just not memorize my lines. I want to memorize everybody's lines, everybody in the script. And I study the character and I try to get a grasp on emotion because some people can act and just be very, you can't see where it's coming from. So a lot of the times I try to connect what I'm feeling and put myself in that position. And I put myself in the feeling that I would be feeling. Maybe I not, may not go through the same thing as a character may have gone through, but I try to put myself in a similar sim situation. I promote movies that I'm, well, a movie that I am proud of, um, part of by pretty much this word of mouth is a, the longest history of the way to promote something. And now we have all these social medias, which are pretty easy too. So any way that I can possibly do it, I, I spread it to friends, family, social media over and over and over again. Um, there are a lot of opportunities everywhere for actors. In Massachusetts, I would like to see more. There aren't enough independents for a lot of people. Boston is a very commercial market, at least from the bigger scale. So it's hard for people of minorities and people of color to actually get roles because it's such a one-sided market. And I think that we all need to just come together and make more independence because there's a lot, and it took me a long time to find this, and I was very lucky for the opportunity that I had, but I may have not had something like this if I wouldn't have been lucky. So I think there are enough jobs here, but there need to be more. I mean, there's, actor, there's actors all over the place that I want to work with in different uh, countries, different states. I'd love to work with everybody. I mean, there's plenty of actors that I see all the time. I'm like, wow, I would love to not even just work with that person, but learn from that person. Like, tell me how you do what you do for a character. So yeah, definitely, I'd like to work with other actors. I would not hesitate if with Mac or Norman Lang Productions call me back. And the reason is, the first time that I actually found out about the film, I had seen, my friend had showed me, 
uh, one of Max film, and it was an action film, and I was like, oh, I'm so excited. And then I went to the audition, like, oh, no, it's a different type of movie. And I was like, oh, it's a bummer. So I'm, like, <laughs> I'm super excited for him to make an action film so I can be part of that. But um, any film that they would do, I would love to be a part of because it's just, it's beautifully done. It's beautifully written. I am looking forward to the grand premiere. It's going to be, first of all, my ever big grand premiere. So I'm going to enjoy just the atmosphere. I've never been around it. And to watch myself on screen, a little hesitant. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to like myself. But I heard all actors do that. It's just a natural thing. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for everybody to come together and watch this beautiful project be released into the world. <laughs>